facing dog. Let's go through that with a bit of instruction. Come down to your knees and we'll do an active child's pose. Toes are curled under. The fingers are pointing straight forward, but I want you to look at your fingers and make sure that they're evenly spread. Even space between all ten fingers. The wrists are pretty much turning forward, but if you're someone who has a strong tendency to turn the arms in, then it may be helpful to rotate the hands out just a little bit. And that will help you to widen the shoulders and turn the outer arms down. So once you get the hands set, the roots of the fingers push down to the floor so strongly, you can sit your hips back to your heels for now, roots of the fingers are pushing down so strongly that the heels of the hands actually get light on the floor. Continually press a lot of um, weight into the, uh, particularly the index finger mound. Forearms lift up away from the floor and then the outer upper arms wrap down towards the floor and then the triceps hug in to straighten the arms. From there, lengthen the back of the neck, look down. These are the arms that we're going to use in downward facing dog. Walk the hands forward just a little bit so that you can really get that length from the arms reaching out of the waist. And then when you shift your hips up and back for downward facing dog, try not to let the arms change. Keep pressing the roots of the fingers, lifting the forearms up, wrapping the outer arms down and firming the triceps in. Let's lift the hips up and back to straighten the legs and then push the hands to send the hips straight back. Let the head drop so that the ears are in line with the upper arms. Back of the neck is long. Push the floor away from you so that your arms are extending out of your waist. Now, for some of us, it's going to be really hard to tilt the pelvis forward. You can put a slight bend in your knees so that you can tilt the hips forward, deepening the crease in your hips. And then once you've found that, you'll slowly start to straighten the legs and reach the heels down to the floor. Spread the toes and breathe. And then at the end of your fifth breath, we'll look forward and walk the feet to the hands. Take as many steps as, it, as you need. Inhale, you can either inhale from here, come onto your fingertips, or bring your hands to your shins. Look up, re-lengthen the front body, keep the legs strong, exhale and fold, lengthen the back of the neck, and inhale to come all the way up, unfolding, reach the arms up overhead, either keep them shoulder distance apart or touch the palms together. And exhale, arms down alongside the body.